Hi, I'm Derek, and welcome to Fun Scale Models. In this video, I'll be showing on how I shape the leading edges to my models. We'll be going over a couple of different wing types. The first will be a constant cord, often referred to as the Hershey bar, as well as a tapered cord. So starting off with, these are some of the tools and supplies you're going to need to shape the leading edge. First would be masking tape. I like to use this to protect the tops of the ribs while shaping the overall airfoil leading edge shape. Next would be a block plane, a sandpaper um, block or sanding block with various grits. This is 150 and 220. Some leading edge guides. These are very useful in making sure you get the correct shape. A lot of my plans will include these or include in the short kits that are available from Manzano Laserworks. And a new tool that we'll be showing is a leading edge shaping tool made by Rabbit Models. And this is set up, you can look down the edge here, to the approximate shape of a leading edge. They offer them in various different sizes, um, and this here is specifically designed for a Clark Y airfoil. Next, let's prep the wings. So in preparation to rough shaping the leading edge, masking tape has been added right behind the back end of the trailing edge on both the top and the bottom. And when we use the block plane to rough this to shape, that's going to help protect the tops of these ribs. The other thing that I've done is I've actually marked um, the sides of the leading edge blank. And this is basically just a continuation of a straight line from this curve and the bottom curve. That will help us go ahead and um, rough down the leading edge. We're gonna use a block plane and basically we're going to plane down this leading edge so that it is even with these lines. Let's go ahead and do that next. So we're gonna start shaping and roughing out the top of the leading edge first. Again, using our small block plane. We're gonna go ahead and hold the panel to the, to the board and just start taking off thin layers. Now I'm doing this at an angle that's parallel with that line that we drew earlier. Just slowly work your way across. sense to stop and take a look and see how you're progressing. Looking on the other side here, about the same. As you get closer to that tape, you'll just want to make sure you're a little bit more aware of how you're trimming. Pretty close on this end. Got a little bit more to go on that end. So sometimes it's worth reversing the order. Go ahead and we'll do the same to the bottom side. With the basic roughed in angles, we'll go ahead and we'll knock off some of the forward facing section just to sort of round out the shape. I'm actually letting the block plane slide across the tabletop here. So you can see from here, we're starting to shape that edge. And do a couple across the bottom. And 
now we're going to use the new tool from Rabbit Models, the Leading Edge Shaper. So the Leading Edge Shaper, again, is in that approximate shape that we want the Leading Edge to be. It has sandpaper within that, as well as the top section here, which also allows you to use it as another handy uh, sanding stick. So this lies flat on the table, as does your wing, and you gently pull it across and slowly start working in the correct shape. And if you need to, you can also reverse the direction and go the opposite. But I found it's easier just to stick with one direction. Now while you're doing this, the sandpaper will grab and it will tug on your frame. So don't pull too hard or put too snugly. Let the tool do the work. Go ahead and start to look at it. Shaping up. So you can see there's still a space between where the edge of the sander is and the rearward edge of the leading edge. Eventually we're going to continue to sand this until those two lines match up. Get in there. So we've basically got our shape that we're looking for. We can add a little bit more sanding if need be. But you can see here, the rear edge and the rear edge of the tool are aligned. Now the leading edge that I have here, this is made from one quarter inch balsa. So the tool is set for that depth. You can also do any final sanding and smoothing with either 220 or 150 sandpaper. And this is where that tape also comes in handy. because You can sand right down to it and you're not impacting the you're not impacting the ribs itself. All right. And that pretty much completes the shaping of that leading edge. Take the tape off. and it leaves it very nice and close to the tops of your ribs. You can always do a little bit more fine sanding as needed. But that wing is ready to go. Next we'll show a tapered wing. So here's our tapered wing. It has the same quarter inch leading edge blank on it. Um, as you can see here, there's still some, a, a bit of an edge that we're gonna have to trim down on the bottom. 
as well on the top. So we'll go ahead and we'll tape this up and then get to block planing. Now that we've rough shaped that leading edge, and we've done so from both ends, now it's time to use the tool again. We're actually going to use two different tools on this one. One of them matches the airfoil shape at the root here. The other is the same tool we were using previously, and that matches at rib number 12, which I've marked here. So we're going to use first the larger of the two tools to rough shape the leading edge. Starting with the section that is non-tapered. So that's been shaped. And then for the rest, we're going to pull along, even though this is larger than the other tip sections. We're still going to use this to rough shape. And from there, we're going to use the, the tool for 12, or this, this point, to start to shape from that point outward. As needed, we can use a sanding block to finalize the shape. And here is the finished panel. You can see looking down the leading edge that it has been contoured to the shape that we want as well as matching up with the guides that are provided. So that is at that station, here's at wing rib 12, and this is at 14. What I found is in using the leading edge shaping tools for a, um, a tapered wing would be to first, as we did, block plane down the leading edge, use the, the larger one, in the section that matches the rib contour and then for the smaller section starting at that station and working your way out. Uh, you may need to take the um, panel off the board to be able to sand it easier and that really gets it to the right shape and then you use your sanding block to um, smooth out any ridges or any edges that need to be um, fine-tuned. Overall I'm very happy with how this panel turned out. These leading edge tools are very helpful. If you're interested in those, um, go ahead and check out Rabbit Models' website. I'll add a link in the description. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching Fun Scale Models.